Hey guys, welcome to episode 4. Today we're starting off by getting some items to restock our little shop at spawn. We have a whole lot of sponges, a handful of glow ink sacks, and we even got the special tied armor trim template. I don't want to bore you guys, so we already stocked the shop up and cleared out the diamonds that were in here. Looks like we're gonna have to go end adventuring again for some more gear to sell in these, but we also put glow ink in here, one diamond for eight of them, and sponges, three diamonds for five of them. I'm assuming you guys have seen the title already and know that we're going to be building an auto smelter today. So let's go ahead and head to the city and start clearing out the land and building that up. Welcome back from that time lapse, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I love to throw time lapses in the videos. And real quick, it looks like one of the villagers migrated over here from the village. I actually forgot we had a village located right here, but he seems to be attracted to the barrels. All right, it took forever, but we finally got him trapped in here. I would like to switch him over to a farmer if we can. Yes. And carrots, I think that's a fine trade. We need to go grab some and then we're going to trade with him, though. We're going to see how much we can level up our farmer here. The reason we wanted to get a farmer first is because I'd like to get a stable supply of food. As you can see, we're eating a lot of random stuff right now. But with this guy, we can hopefully get some golden carrots. Now that we've got this guy decently leveled up, we're going to go ahead and leave him be because there's something else I want to do. I want to go ahead and show you guys all the terraforming I just did in the area. And then included in that, we're going to create a pathway from the storage room out to here. Then maybe a few possible pathways to other builds in the future. At this point in the time lapse, you guys are seeing us build up a tiny house, a tiny cottage on the water. There's no real purpose for this yet, but there will be. We're gonna throw something in there, you know, it's gonna look good, but that's all gonna come in time. Alright, welcome back from that time lapse, everybody. Hopefully, you enjoyed it as well as the first one. While we're walking along this path, I'm noticing it's a bit bland and a bit bleak. So like I did over here, we're going to add a lot more shrubs and some custom trees here in the future. We're going to head over to GCA Gamers and we're going to go ahead and make a little trade. He's going to get some nether wart and we're going to get some rockets. And then we're just going to hang out there for a bit and make some weakness potions. You know, we're just going to chill and hopefully you guys enjoy this small collab coming up. But if you do, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. And without further ado, we're going to hop over there. And I totally didn't do an intro uh, where we greet him and everything because I got really obsessed with his mob farm. It produces a lot of gunpowder. So we just kind of started hopping into that. Hope you guys enjoy. Catch you back. If you don't mind, I'd love to come use this sometime. 
Go ahead. Be my I was gonna, I was gonna say I'll pay you a fee or something if you want, but you like you can have you can have these. Oh, thanks. You're oh welcome. my gosh, that's so many rockets. What the heck? Well, I mean, it's like I'm pretty sure. Thanks, I appreciate you. Yeah. Um, you get like I don't know, like I I can I get here for like an hour and got like twelve stacks of gunpowder. So oh, it kills them for you. Just entity well, I cramming? was. You, they can. You can work that way, but I was using the Louis three sword. Oh, um, you had an auto clicker going, or? Uh, yeah, but also I, I added water up there to turn it into an XP farm too, just to get some levels up too, because I didn't want to go to the end. You know what's crazy is, um, like, if you look at the entity count that are loaded onto the server right now. Mm -hmm. With like F three, there's only like forty eight entities in this in our area, but thirty of them are inside of the mob spawner right now. So, oh and God. that's because we're so because we're so high. This is yeah. the only that's the only spawnable location, especially during the daytime. We need to find a nice desert in order to get a lot of sand. I also. When I was, uh, so I was trying to do a sticky piston and shove them on ice before to get rid of the water and everything like that so that mm -hmm. um, they would all be the same health when they ended up getting down here. Because right now they can't burn because of the water stream uh, blocking the sun. Oh, yeah. Um, we could remove their water stream and it would just automatically kill them if we wanted to do that. I was gonna, I was gonna tell my brother to add a, add a little bit more color over here, cause this is supposed to. He made this ship. It's supposed to be Mandalorian ship, right? Mm -hmm. But there's, just, it's just lacking a little bit of color. Yeah. See, I've, I've watched the Star Star Wars movies. It's been a while, but I was never like the hugest fan, so I just don't know all the stuff. But like, this looks in, insane. The detail. It's I'm not a really so big cool. fan of Star Wars either, honestly. Um, I also brought six geez. more brewing stands. I I didn't even need that much. I guess I didn't even really need nether wood too. But I oh, will, I was I, I was just out. gonna make a ton of them. I prefer just to make like I'm, a shulker box of them, and then I'm set. I know what you mean. Are you just doing weakness potions, or I'm just doing weakness, yeah. And then, since you gave me that gunpowder and the rockets, take as much of this as you want. Like, you can empty the shulker if you want. It's more room for me to bring potions Ooh. back, so. Okay, so I have too much sugarcane, so I'm leaving you with a ton of sugarcane. And I went ahead and took, I want to say it's about half the potions. Uh, you can take even more, honestly. I'll see right. you, man. Alright, see ya. Thanks for the trades. Welcome back in guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. We lost track of time and I had some things to do, so we had to cut it off real quick there, sorry about that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, but next episode we're going to focus on getting netherite, we're going to be upgrading everything and throwing some armor trims on. Make sure to comment what kind of trims you guys want me to throw on my armor, I'm interested to see what you guys think would look good. But also another thing we're going to focus on is trying to zombify our villagers and get them all set up, because as you guys just saw with Captain, we created tons of weakness potions so i have a shulker box of those in our ender chest and i also made up 28 golden apples to go with it so we need to get those good trades going so we can keep our golden carrots coming with that hopefully you guys enjoyed we're gonna go to sleep and i'll catch you next time bye